Welcome to Number Theory, our first module of Math 110. We're going to talk about divisibility. It's our first concept within Number Theory. And to discuss divisibility, we need to talk about a certain set of numbers. And those are the natural numbers. They're also known as the counting numbers. These are whole numbers that are greater than or equal to 1. In other words, the natural numbers denoted by this funny looking N are 1, 2, 3, 10, 15, 1 million, all of the whole numbers that are bigger than 1. Now the idea of divisibility comes from uh, a numbers being multiplied by each other or factors. The number 36 is divisible by 3 or we say 3 divides 36 because 3 is a factor of 36. 3 is something that goes into 36. We'll use this uh, symbolism to denote that 3 divides 36 or it's divisible by 30, uh, 36 is divisible by 3. Prime numbers are natural numbers that are divisible only by themselves and 1. Composite numbers are number, natural numbers that are not prime. In other words, they're divisible by something other than just 1 and the number itself. So looking at a few examples, 3 is prime because only 1 and 3 divide it. 6 is composite because 2 divides 6. Um, 3 also divides 6, but once we found one number that goes into it, we know it's composite. 35 is composite because 1 and 35 divide 35, but 5 and 7 also do. And 17 is prime because only 1 divides 17 and 17 divides 17. So is 237 prime or composite? Well, to go to figure this out, we could go through all of the natural numbers to see if any of them divide evenly into 237. We could take 237 divided by 2 and we'd get some weird number, uh, let's see, 168 and a half, I think. You can check me. Um, so that 2 is not a, uh, 2 does not divide 237 because 2 times another natural number doesn't give us 237. We could check 3 and 4 and 5 and we could go through, um, but that's going to get old very quickly. So to help us with determining whether a number is composite or in determining whether or not uh, different numbers go into or are factors of other numbers, we have some rules of divisibility. Rules of divisibility. Uh, 2 is pretty quick and easy. A uh, number is divisible by 2 if it's uh, even. We're going to test a couple of numbers, uh, 4056 and 30,870. So looking at these two numbers, 4056 is an even number and thus it's divisible by 2. In other words, another way of looking at this or saying that this is an even number is 2 goes into the very last digit. Likewise, 30,870 is divisible by 2 because 2 divides 0. Uh, in other words, 30,870 is an even number. The test for 3, a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of all its digits is divisible by 3. For example, with 4,056, we are going to add up the digits 4 plus 0 plus 5 plus 6 and that will add up to 15. Now because those digits add up to 15 and because 15 is divisible by 3 that tells us that 4056 is also divisible by 3. Looking at 30,870 Again, if we add up the digits, 
3 plus 8 plus 7 plus the zeros, we end up with 18. And because 18 is divisible by 3, the whole number, 30,870, is divisible by 3. And this uh, has some interesting features. That also means any number with these digits in it would also be divisible by 3. This could have been 70,380. And that's also divisible by 3 because it's got all the same digits in it. A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits are divisible by 4. So when we look at 40,056, the last two digits, 56, are divisible by 4. Therefore, the whole number is divisible by 4. 4 will go into 40, or 4,056. 30,870. To decide if that's divisible, we'll look at the 70. And 4 will not go into 70. You can use long division or a calculator to confirm that. But 4 will not go into 70. So 4 will not go into 30,870. All right, our next three numbers with their rules, uh, five should be pretty straightforward. A number is divisible by five if the last digit is a zero or five. And back when we were doing our five uh, uh, multiples, we five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, the numbers that end in a five or a zero are divisible by five. 4,056 is not divisible by five because it ends in a six. It doesn't end in a zero or a five. However, 30,870 is divisible by 5 because it ends in a 0. Our next number is 6. A number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3. So looking at 4,056, we remember we checked it, it was divisible by 2. And we checked it, and it was divisible by 3. And because it's divisible by both of those numbers, it is divisible by 6. The same is true for 30,870. It is divisible by 6 because it's divisible by 2 and it is divisible by 3. We don't have a handy rule of divisibility for 7s, so we'll go on to 8s. A number is divisible by 8 if the last three digits are divisible by 8. Notice with the 2, it was the last digit. With 4, it was the last two digits. Now with 8, it's the last three digits. So when we look at 4,056, the last three digits are 0, 5, 6. So we look at 0, 5, 6, which is just 56. 8 goes into 56. 56 is divisible by 8. Therefore, 8 will go into, or it is a factor of, the whole number, 4,056. Now 30,870 is not divisible by 8, because if we look at the number 870, 8 is not, uh, 8 does not divide that number. Now one thing we can uh, see, if we look closely, if a number is not divisible by 4, it can't be divisible by 8 because 4 goes into 8. So if 4 doesn't go into 30,870, 8 can't. Last couple of numbers, 9. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 9. This is the same trick we used for 3. Um, when we added up the digits on 4,056, we saw that that was 15. And while that was divisible by 3, it's not divisible by 9. So 4,056 is not divisible by 9. On the other hand, when we added up the digits on 30,870, um, it was divisible by 9 uh, because the digits add up to 18 and 9 divides 18. This trick only works for 3 and 9. A lot of people get into this trick and they get real excited and they try to use it for other numbers like 7 and 11 and it only works for those two numbers. 
and finally a number is divisible by 10 if it ends in a 0. And 4056 is not divisible by 10, but 30,870 is.